What is going on everybody? It is Luke Beller. We have some pretty crazy news that just came out. Apparently Mike Pettin, defensive coordinator of the Green Bay Packers for the past few seasons is not going to be returning to the Green Bay Packers in 2020. So I wanted to come into this room real fast, get this video out to you guys and sort of break it down in today's video. But if you guys are new to this channel, if you're a Packers fan, I put out Packers news, Packers breakdowns, tons of stuff like that five to six times a week. So if you want to see more of that, make sure you subscribe and turn on those post notifications. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you like it down below. So this news came out in about the past 20 to 30 minutes. Tom Pelissero, he breaks lots of news um, for the NFL, came out. He said Packers defensive coordinator Mike Pettin's contract is expiring and he will not return in 2021, source said. So apparently Mike Pettin, I guess, signed a three-year deal back when he got hired by Mike McCarthy back in 2018. And then um, because he is no longer going to be extended with the Packers, he will not return for 2021. So technically it's not like he's fired. That's why the Packers are just like moving on from him and they're not they're not deciding to re-sign him. So he will not return to Green Bay for the 2021 season. And I know most of you guys are probably pretty excited about this. Personally, you know, I don't know what the right move is with the defensive coordinator. Obviously at times Mike Patton has been super inconsistent. And I think because of that, honestly, probably one of the most consistent things in my comments this season has been fire Mike Patton, fire Mike, Tet Mike Patton. The past few days with the special teams news coming out, everyone's like, when's Mike Patton getting fired? When's Mike Patton getting fired? So it seems that uh, most of you guys got what you sort of were hoping for. I would never hope anyone to, you know, lose their job or anything, but it's just sort of how it is going with Mike Patton. And I think when we look at him the past couple seasons, there's just been lots of moments where you question whether or not he was making the right decisions. I'm not some professional, you know, like defensive mind. I, I don't know, I, I shouldn't be making those kinds of decisions. But lots of people seem to think that he wasn't doing the best job that he could do. Lots of times people were like, oh, he's playing soft coverage. He shouldn't do that. Is that the, I don't know. Was he doing the right thing? Honestly, I don't know. But lots of people seem to be frustrated with him. And I think it sort of all culminated, especially when it came to that one defensive play in the NFC Championship where, you know, there's like, what, eight seconds left in the half. The Packers play some like one, like some kind of man coverage apparently. And like everyone was saying, you should never run that kind of you know, defensive scheme in that situation. And even in, my, in Matt LaFleur's interview after the game, as I was watching it, he was like, that's, you know, you can't make a decision like that. Obviously referring to Mike Pettin. And so in that moment, seeing Matt LaFleur talk about that play in those se that, that series like that, it sort of made you wonder, are they going to bring Mike Pettin back? Because honestly, who knows if they're going to. And so now it's official. He is not going to be returning to Green Bay. So we're going to have to find someone else to come in there, someone fresh to come in here and work on this defense. And honestly, when you take a look at this defense, it seems like we should be better than we have been. Um, we weren't terrible this year. We were 13th in points allowed, 9th in yards allowed, you know, improving a lot from last year. Last year, we were 15th in points allowed, so a little bit better in that category. And we were 18th in yards allowed. So we jumped up from 18th in yards allowed to 9th in yards allowed. So at times, this defense did look good, I think, for the beginning of the season. They struggled a lot more, but throughout the season, they seemed to pick up the pace, you know, with Rashawn Gary improving, some other guys improving, um, with Jair Alexander playing as good as he, you know, has his entire career. Um, this defense definitely started to get a lot better, and that's why part of me was curious as to whether or not they would bring back Mike Pettin, um, just because, you know, when you bring in a new defensive coordinator, they're going to have to, they're probably going to have an entirely different scheme. They'll have to relearn things, and so you're like, well, are they just going to bring him back? But apparently they've decided... Mike Patton is not going to return, so they're gonna have to find someone else to come in here. And I'll probably put a video out in the next couple of days with potential candidates, guys who could be available. I didn't really have time, you know, before this video to come out and like research who is available and all that kind of stuff. So I'll probably do that in another video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss that video. So now coming into 2021, this defense could look a lot different, you know, with a new guy coming in, bringing in his scheme. Honestly, it's pretty exciting because I feel like lots of people thought that this defense had the capability of being a lot better than they have been. And lots of people, I think, did blame that on Mike Pettin. Was that blame, um, you know, warranted? Honestly, I don't know what the defensive problems were specifically. Um, obviously, you know, we have lots of strengths on this defense. We got Zadarius Smith. Um, you know, Preston Smith has been a, not as good probably as last year, but who knows what's going to happen with him. But we have Rashawn Gary, who has been improving. Jair Alexander, one of the best corners in the league. So there are some strengths on this defense for sure. And there's definitely a couple weaknesses. We got Kevin King. I don't think he's going to be coming back. Most people don't seem to think he'll be back. And I think I really think one area where the Packers could improve this offseason, maybe in the draft, is coming in, picking another cornerback to pair alongside Jair Alexander. And hopefully with someone else coming in, fixing this defense up, if this defense can come and start to play at like an elite level, top five, top 10 level, it would be really hard to beat this Packers team just because we've seen how dominant this offense is. And the biggest thing with Aaron Rodgers and his career, it's just always seen that the defense is the area that sort of holds him back. 
obviously in that NFC Championship game. The defense played pretty good. There were obviously plays where we didn't play good. Kevin King having a pretty bad game, allowing that Mike Evans touchdown, that Scotty Miller touchdown. But we did get three interceptions in that game. And so the defense did come up clutch at points and the offense had trouble converting um, and turning those con those turnovers into points. But it just has seen that the defense has been the weak area for Aaron Rodgers and this Packers team, you know, for the past like, you know, five to 10 years. And so hopefully coming into 2021, maybe we get a new defensive coordinator. Maybe he brings some life to this defense and hopefully coming into this next season, it can finally be our year. We've gone through two NFC championship losses. And I honestly think this team has a capability to win a Super Bowl. So hopefully coming into 2021, that will be our year. But I would definitely be curious to hear your guys' thoughts on the defensive coordinator, who we should hire. I'm gonna go do some research and hopefully put out a video in the next few days on guys who we could potentially hire. But I'd be curious to hear if you guys have any insights on defensive coordinators who you think the Packers should bring in. Drop it down in the comments below. That's all for today. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure you like the video down below. It really helps push the video out to more people and subscribe if you wanna see some more Packers content. But that's all for today and I'll see you guys on the next one.